The story behind Alan Campbell and Tyke, the circus elephant. When I was doing research for this video, I never thought I would have come across a case where I genuinely felt sorry for an animal that killed a person and injured other people. But this case in particular made me so angry because of how things turned out in the end. The animal was simply just acting like how it's supposed to act after so many years of abuse and confinement. I guess that's just the soft-natured human side of me showing its good old self. Of course, I won't show the actual video of the animal being shot because of YouTube's very strict guidelines. This is the sequence of events that led to the death of a human being, the injury of others, and the death of the animal. Tyke, the female elephant, was caught way back in 1973 as a baby in Mozambique and trained as a circus animal from very early on. She was shipped to America and sold to a company called Hawthorne Corporation, which is a company that supplies animals to circuses. Life for Tyke was never a bed of roses. She went through many years of abuse from her handlers and it was really no big surprise when Tyke finally fought back. Things took a very bad turn for the worst on a fateful day in 1994. Tyke, the frustrated elephant, was shot to death on the streets of Hawaii in a hail of 87 bullets. Tyke was now a 21-year-old animal and she was shipped from mainland America to Hawaii where she was a have a performance at the Neil S. Blaisdell Center. Tyke, who was now a 21-year-old cross, miserable and mistreated elephant, had no intentions on that day in particular on having a good, well-behaved performance. Apart from seriously injuring her groomer, she also killed her trainer, Alan Campbell, in front of a packed arena. Campbell was trying to wrangle Tyke into submission, but sadly his attempts proved futile. The 9,500-pound elephant quickly crushed Campbell to death, and while Beckworth, the groomer, stepped in to help him, he too was attacked and seriously injured. Tyke ran out of the packed arena, running wild on the streets of Honolulu for about 35 minutes. The police hurriedly tracked down Tyke, trying to prevent her from killing anyone else. The police fired at Tyke, shooting her and alarming 87 times with small caliber bullets. Hundreds of onlookers stood there in tears as they watched in horror as Tyke, having been shot 87 times, staggered around and collapsed on the side of a car eventually slowly dying from bleeding in her brain and nerve damage. The gentleman who was sent over to recover Tyke's body claimed that Tyke the elephant had tears in her eyes. Many people had witnessed the killing of the animal and there was a huge outcry in Honolulu. There was a proposed banning of wild animals in live performances but this didn't materialize much. On the brighter side, however, many circuses in Hawaii took it up onto themselves to stop using wild animals in their businesses. In 2018, the detached American state finally banned the importation of wild animals for usage in circuses.